Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. We are looking at Psalm 84 today, and this psalm is known as the blessing of dwelling in the house of God. Or also another title for this psalm is simply homesick for heaven. We all have our favorite psalms, and Psalm 84 is definitely one of my favorites. It is a longing of exiled Jews to be back at the temple in Jerusalem once again. But we can apply this psalm to us today as a godly pilgrim who is just homesick for our eternal destiny, heaven. Verse 1 reads, How lovely is your tabernacle, O Lord of hosts. Another application for us is to remember that we are the church of the living God. And when others see us, spend time with us, or know us, we should hope and pray that they see Jesus in us, which makes us lovely because Jesus is lovely. Verse 2 reads, My soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh, they cry out for the living God. Beloved, you have heard me say many times, I think I just said it this week that we came from God for God and someday we go back to God. That is why there is nothing in this world that can satisfy our dry longing soul like a relationship with the one who created our soul for his glory and for his pleasure. He loves us and the fellowship we have with him. The psalmist is crying out to be where the living God is. He says, my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Aren't you glad, beloved, that you serve a living God? Not a dead, impersonal being who does not have the ability or power to help us or mold us into better human beings. Verse 2 and 3 read, even the sparrow has found a home and to swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. The pilgrim in this psalm compares himself to a sparrow or a swallow. In Psalm 102, the sparrow is used as a picture of loneliness as are we without our blessed Lord. And if you have ever watched a swallow, you know what a restless creature this little bird is. It flies around and darts around as if totally lost. Both the swallow and the sparrow are a picture of us without God as our hope. We are lonely and we are lost, not knowing where to dart off to next to find our resting place. The only place that we can find our rest, like the swallow, is at the altar of God. There were two altars in the tabernacle and in the temple. One was the brazen altar and the other was the golden one. The first symbolized Christ's death and the second symbolized his resurrection. When we apply the two, they represent the finished work of Christ on our behalf. Verses 5 and 6 in this psalm are some of my favorite. It says, Blessed is the man, our woman, whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, which is the valley of tears, they make it a spring. The rain also covers it with pools. First of all, beloved, as we journey through this world, our strength is in the Lord Jesus Christ and his goodness toward us. We are strong in the Lord in the power of his might, as stated in Ephesians 10. We can be strong because our heart is not set on this world, because this is not our permanent home. We are only sojourning to heaven, our true home. 
We don't stop going toward the direction of heaven, which is in Christ, but we keep going because our heart is set on that pilgrimage. We're like kind of like a homing pigeon, so to speak. If Christ is in us, he's leading us home. Simply put, we are going somewhere besides this place called earth. It is just a stopping place. It is a place where we can be a blessing as we pass through it, because even though we have our trials and our heartaches, we can turn them into a spring of blessing for others. We transform our tragedies into triumphs. We can glory in our weaknesses and triumph in the wrecks along the way because of the cross of Jesus. For somehow he knows how to lift us up above them. It says the rain also covers it with pools, pools of water. Water stands for the word of God. As we pass through the wilderness of pain, sorrow, boredom, or trial, we can go from strength to strength. Because of instead of getting weaker as a journey progresses, we can get stronger. As the Apostle Paul said, even as our outer man is wasting away, the inner man is being renewed every day. Verse 11, verse 11 of this great psalm states, For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory, and no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. I love that scripture. It's a promise from our Father. As we journey toward heaven, God gives us the light of his presence for the darkness that surrounds us at times. He is our shield of protection, and he will give us his grace, which is sufficient for all things, and we will share in his glory at the end of our journey. These are wonderful things to look forward to, beloved, and to enjoy as we follow our Lord to a place called heaven. This is Faith to Live By. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.